is up guys, Joe Snow right here, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix the uh, the error or the hang of the application for the jailbreaking on iOS 10.1.1 when it actually hangs on killed power D and a question mark. So I'm going to show you how to make it work and how to get it working to access the file system. And uh, so at first let me tell you what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this project for jailbreaking iOS 10.1.1, well barebone jailbreak. And uh, you can uh, see more about if you don't know about this project, if it's the first time you hear about it, check out my other my uh, other videos right here, the channel. This is the video you should see, and also these and these. Right. So I'm going to show you what uh, what is that error, what error I'm talking about. Right. So uh, here is my custom version of the project. I also up uploaded it on GitHub, there is a video about it, you can check it out in the description or in the card up here. And basically what's the difference? My version is compatible with all the devices. I took uh, the time to find the offsets and make compilation of the offsets into a single project and make it compatible with all 64-bit devices. But I'm going to show you some of you have a problem even with this one but also with the original project. I'm going to show you what's the project uh, error. So I'm going to show you what we're fixing, right? So stick with me. I connected an iPhone 6 and I'm going to um, hit the play button right here. Uh, if it's the first time you need to also verify the app, you need to go to settings, profile management and click verify and then try again and it will start the app. But for me, it's not the first time. So it will start the app directly after compiling it. Right, so, um, you're going to see in the console, this is what you're interested for this jailbreak to work, for these exploits to work, this is where you should be uh, looking at for the moment. So be sure to, to look in here and um, we're going to see in a couple of seconds, it's building the app, still building the app. Right, as you can see, the, uh, the build always have four warnings, they're not errors, errors are with red. Uh, you shouldn't be focusing on them, so yeah. Right, so it will start the application and you will follow up my console right here. So make sure you're watching the console and you're going to see what error I'm talking about, right? All right, so this is the error I'm talking about. It says failed to register service and it counts to 4095 and then killed power D and it stops here. This is the error and you're not able to do anything, right? Let me show you how to fix it. <laughs> there is a simple, extremely simple fix, but if you got this, now you need to power down your phone and power it up again, because it will be stuck, right? You won't be able to open anything. So just hold the power button and the home button and simply restart the phone. Disconnect it to the computer and leave it for roughly a minute. Make sure if it has a passcode, uh, that you unlock it first, right? Because you know, if you restart it, you need to unlock it first before connecting to wireless and so on. Right, I'm going to simply click trash in here. And what you need to do is to simply navigate into the Mac portal right here uh, and go to um, copyright here from what, what you have right here, whatever you have. In my case, it's geosnow.macporter, right? Uh, I'm going to copy it and make a new capabilities in here on the grub and make it like this grub dot whatever you had in the previous thing. Wait for it to give you the uh, the check marks and you're good to go. Now the important part that some of you skipped it was in the instructions but some of you skipped is to go to jailbreak dot c and here where you have app grub replace the app grub with this. Well, you need grub as well. Grub dot and whatever you had. Now it should work. Okay, the phone has uh, stayed a little bit. Let me see if I can get it working. It's an iPhone 6 running 10.1.1. Also, if you want to save your SHSH bloops in order to be able to downgrade to 10.1.1, even after Apple is killing the signature window, you have a tutorial for Windows in here and a tutorial for Mac in here on my channel. So be sure to check it out. Right, so uh, I'm going to connect the phone. It's connected and simply press the play button in here and wait for it to start linking, recompiling, because we modified the app, so it will recompile it again. But now we should get it working. Oh, also very important, make sure your phone is not in low power mode. So if your battery is yellow, simply go ahead on the battery settings and disable that, because it won't work. Right, let's see what we can do, right? 
it will start from uh, from second to another it's installing the app and we should see the outcome in the console here is where you want to focus right on the console you can see it's now saying this and this and this this is what you need to see shell listening on port 4141 now uh, Oh hell yeah! I should have told you that before running the application, playing the pressing the play button, you should go to uh, settings, Wi-Fi, and click that little eye right next to the Wi-Fi network you're connected. Also, make sure your laptop or computer is connected to the same network as your phone in order to create a connection, a cross connection, and then. Uh, you should note down the IP address. Uh, in my case, I know the IP address, but if you don't do that and you already started the app, you will need to do everything again, restart the phone and so on, because you won't be able to go to settings. Right, and now after you know your IP address and you also have shell listening on port 4141 killed power D, here is what you need to do. NC, netcat, it's a program. NC and your IP address, 192 in my case, 168 and 6. Then you need to write 4141, the port that is listening on here. Do this. Now you're connected. You're going to see uh, some message on the um, on the string itself, right? So uh, let me see if it's the uh, the correct IP. It's not. It's 1.6, not 6 directly. Right. Just a second. So instead of 168.6, it's 1.6 in here, and it should connect now. You can see that it changed it. It said waiting for message for on fake bootstrap port. Right now, you probably me you probably think it hanged. No, it didn't. LS. Look what we have here. Hmm. LS. CD uh, applications. LS. Ooh, what we have here, all the applications. Hmm, maybe I can run something. For example, hmm, kill. Yep, we can run it. You name Darwin. <laughs> so we can uh, we can run everything. Also, I can run um, grep. Yep, I can run grep. Let's see what else we have here. Basically, you can put any kind of bundle in here or binary in here and you can run it through the device with root access with root uh, super user access which means that you can run virtually anything right so um, I'm gonna write PS uh, apparently I can't get any process but anyways uh, let me see what else I can run mm -hmm. bash yep it seems to run all the applications with no problem Yep, so uh, let me see what else we have in here so that I can run. Okay, ping, shut down. Let me see. There are quite a few things you can run, but as I said, you can put anything in here, any application you want to, to run, and it will run. You don't need to have it signed or something. So, for example, if I want the CD inside the uh, system folder, I can do this and of course I have this again CD core services I want to go to the springboard LS uh, and you have a, quite a couple of things yeah you have the uh, dot app in here CD maybe we can copy them to the computer uh, the file system is read only but I think we can copy things to the computer because we're not writing them we're actually reading them if we're copying them I, I have no idea but uh, that would be an interesting thing to, to try. Maybe we can use anything else than netcat, I don't know. Right, so this is basically it. This is how you fix it. I got root access, I accessed the phone right here, and so you got, the, you got it working. For those of you who had the problems on, whatever, yeah. For those of you who had, uh, the, who had the problem on the, uh, the thing, and yeah, with the killed uh, power D thing, now it works. You can get my fork on uh, GitHub if you want with all the 64-bit uh, devices um, functional with offsets for all of them. So yeah, be sure to check it out the, on the uh, GitHub and also check out my videos on the channel about this so you can learn how to change the offsets yourself. And also this is the video about the um, 
my fork with all the 64-bit devices working. So yeah, basically it. Do not forget, very important, go ahead and change your SHSH2 blobs because it will be very important for downgrades in the future. Uh, actually, TimStar is releasing a, a tool called Prometheus that will require you to save your SHSH2 blobs in a new format in order to be able to downgrade. So yeah, you want like not to have the bloops when the tool come out. So go ahead right now because Tempo 1.1 it's still signed. And yeah, of course, do not update. I'm Joe Snow. Peace out.